Infotech. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about some new leaks that I saw on the internet. Uh, I get a lot of my sources uh, from Twitter. I follow this guy named Osita LV, which is I think everybody follows him on Twitter just because he has uh, leaks about DJI's new products and what they're, what's coming out and everything. And uh, uh, lately he's been a little bit wrong. He posted some photos of a Mavic Pro and claimed it to be a Mavic Pro 2. So, I don't know how accurate his leaks are. He also posted pictures of what could be the new Phantom 5. Um, I'll put some pictures of that as well. Um, which has a removable uh, lens system. So you can interchange the lenses that the camera uses. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be called the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. Uh, which I saw something about that as well. Or if it's going to be called the Phantom 5. Or, so, not really sure. But there were some photos of that. I also saw photos of a DJI watch. A lot of details on that. Uh, looks pretty cool. Looks like you can control your drone with it. I don't know which exactly which DJI models are going to work with this watch. But the technology looks really promising. I also wanted to apologize uh, for what happened last week. I posted a video about the Auto Robotics Evo. That there was going to be a release date for it this week. Um, I, I, I was wrong. <laughs> Uh, I was going by what the company told me, which was 4K for less. Um, when I did a search on the internet last week, you put Auto Evo, and uh, they were one of the companies that was uh, showing up on the internet that you can buy it, them, buy it from. So I proceeded to call them to see which models they were going to have available. So I started, you know, I started talking to the salesperson over the phone, and he told me that um, that you know you can only get uh, one over two thirds sensor. Uh, uh, Evo and uh, that it was going to be available this week and I posted this video last week. So I got a lot of uh, bad comments because people say that I was lying and, and um, I mean I, I was kind of irresponsible because I, I was kind of, uh, I thought you guys should know about it. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to get the Evo so and when they told me that they could sell it, uh, that it was going to be on sale this week, I took them at their word. I mean why would they make that up? But I guess, you know, they could have done that just to sell, um, to get deposits on drones. And uh, I, I just want to apologize for that. Uh, this week, it's not even posted on their website anymore. So, I want to apologize for uh, misleading uh, my viewers on that. And uh, I got a lot of bad comments be because of that. Because a lot of people saw the video. They called 4K for less. And then 4K for less uh, told them that the drone uh, wasn't going to be in this week. So whoever, I talked to somebody on the phone, I called them, and they told me that it was going to be, they were going to be receiving shipment at the beginning of this week, and they were going to start to ship as well. Um, so the Altel Evo doesn't look like it's going to come out, I don't know which version is going to, which version is going to come out either. It doesn't look like it's going to, we're going to have a one inch sensor one available anytime soon. I think it's just going to be the one over two third sensor, the one that's going to be available first. Um, Another thing that I heard uh, for the Mavic Pro 2 is that it's not going to be a 1 inch sensor camera. Uh, so 1 inch sensor camera is just like the Phantom 4 Pro if you're new uh, to the drone um, hobby. So this, uh, this is the Phantom 4 Pro and uh, it's got 360 degrees of obstacle avoidance and it has a 1 inch sensor uh, camera. And what does that mean? Uh, it's, it gets a lot better uh, dynamic range, uh, depth of feel, and it seems to perform better in low light. Um, so anyways, the, the, the new Mavic Pro 2, according to Osita LV, uh, posted on Twitter that it's not going to be a 1 inch sensor. Uh, he said that it's going to be a 1 over 1 7th uh, inch sensor. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that uh, or how that plays out. Uh, I guess it's all going to depend who is buying the drone and what they need. Um, I was hoping it was going to be a one inch sensor. Is it going to determine that I won't buy the new Mavic Pro 2? Probably not. Um, anyways, I'm going to put some technical specs on the sensor itself that DJI is supposed to use on the Mavic Pro 2. Uh, so you can see what I am talking about. and. Um, so as far as that, that's all I know about the new Mavic Pro 2. Uh, out of all the data that I have collected, uh, it's been going back and forth. Uh, it said it's going to be a one-inch sensor. Uh, it's supposed to have 4,300 uh, milliamp hour batteries. That's going to bump up your flight time to about 33 minutes. Um, at one point, I heard that it was going to have obstacle avoidance in the front and in the back. Um, 
Osita LV then said it was just going to have it in the front. And now it's going back to saying that it's going to have obstacle avoidance in the front and in the back. Uh, it's supposed to be released by June. So I, I, I don't know exactly uh, what was going to happen with that. So that's where we're at with the Mavic Pro 2 at this moment. There's really nothing else. We can, all we can do at this point is just speculate. I hope they do a redesign. Um, I mean, it, it's... Uh, this is a great drone. Uh, it's one of my favorite. Uh, I definitely fly this one more than than the the, the Phantom Four, and um, I like this one, the the Mavic Pro Two or the Mavic Pro, sorry, uh, uh, because how robust it is uh, compared to the Mavic Air. Well, I mean, just you know, the name says it all. Mavic Air. I also like the connectivity and the performance of the OcuSync system. Uh, this one doesn't have OcuSync. It has um, enhanced Wi-Fi connectivity. So I find that the OcuSync uh, is just a little bit more reliable and uh, less interference uh, whenever you're flying and um, in areas where there's uh, you're more prone to have interference. So I find that the I want to see if they're going to step up their obstacle avoidance uh, technology. Um, I mean, th this one's really cool. It's got the uh, pilot assist, uh, so it kind of veers out of way of tar uh, out of obstacles, and that. so that's a, that's a really cool thing uh, that this drone has, the the Mavic Air. But so I'm wondering if, um, if 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 the new Mavic Pro 2 is going to have better hardware, therefore that te that technology could be. Um, so that technology will be better and, and, and it will perform better, it will be more intuitive. Um, because besides, uh, I'm not, I know the Mavic Pro 2 is going to be better than the Mavic Air. I just want to see how much farther that's going to be as far as the technology that it has packed inside. Um, the whole camera thing and the one inch sensor, um, I guess this is important of course because uh, the one inch sensor does perform better than the one over two third uh, sensor that these two have. You know, they, these two have the same size, one, one over two thirds. And uh, so it would be a great improvement. Uh, the, the one over one seventh, it's, it's, it's bigger than this one. So it will be a little bit better. And uh, I'm sure they're gonna go to 100 megabits per second processing. So that's, that's gonna be a good thing as well. But who knows? Who knows is this is smoke screens. Um, I'm gonna, post like all the things that I have heard since they've been announcing that the Mavic Pro 2 is going to come out so it's gone in so many directions and uh, and, and, and my source uh, I use drone DJ and I follow and I follow Osita LV on on Twitter so I, I really don't know what to expect as far as the Phantom 4 Pro or, or the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 that's coming out if it's going to have uh, the removable lenses or if they're going to shelf that until it's the Phantom 5 because I also have a photo of what's supposed to be the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 with uh, quiet propellers and um, and it's supposed to have an updated controller as far as I can tell it's got some kind of vents uh, built into the bottom of the controller so there's a lot of exciting things. I do not know when it's going to be released. Uh, I do not know why everything's taking so long now uh, to be released. I don't know if it's issues with manufacturing because it just seems like uh, Autel Robotics, you know, they haven't been able to release their Evo. So I don't know if they're playing with each other, Autel, uh, Autel Robotics and DJI to see, you know, uh, who can beat who to the market and uh, they don't want to, they, they don't want to see, they don't want to show each other's hands. So they're just trying to strategize, but uh, I just know that uh, it would be great to have a brand new uh, drone product um, in the market now. Uh, not that the you know the Mavic Air was great when it came out. It came out in uh, January, and uh, I like it. It's it's great, but uh, it would be good good to have something you know along um, something with a one inch sensor uh, and, and a form factor of, of of this one, or maybe just a slight slightly bigger. You know, it could be a little bit bigger than this, but just foldable. I mean, that would be a game changer. So, if DJI or Auto Robotics uh, could pull that off, uh, I would be sold. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about, I bought the quiet propellers for the, for the Mavic Pro. And I'm telling you, they, they make quite a difference uh, as far as the way it sounds. So, it's just a lower pitch uh, noise uh, that, that you hear that it uh, kind of blends 
it, it goes blends away a lot easier than the ones that I had before. So I'm really happy I got these. Um, I crashed this one. Uh, I let one of my friends fly it, and um, and he crashed it into a tree. So uh, all the propellers were damaged in, in that accident, and. Um, so I went ahead instead of just getting regular Mavic propellers, I, I went ahead and get the, the low noise uh, uh, Mavic Platinum propellers and I'm telling you I'm really glad I bought them. They're definitely worth the money. So uh, you know, leave me the comments, uh, let me know what you think. At this point I would buy whichever one comes out and, and has a you know has a one inch sensor and uh, but at this moment it looks like it's, it's going to be either. So thank you for watching and, and have a good weekend.